our boy doesn't have Matty is. Why this? Once exclamation mark. <laughs> Hello. I am. You're still doing the dishes. Oh my god. Those are a lot of dishes. <gasps> what? Wait. On second thoughts, I think we could be earning silver with this song. Maybe even gold. Yeah, this place is a gold mine, but I need to sell stuff. Kido, come on. You're here. Good. That's good. I only watch watch this stream when I'm doing the dishes. Okay, noted. So I know that each time you'll show up you'll be doing the dishes. Yep. Yep, cock. Um <laughs> Are you alright? I was expressing a little more enthusiasm. Sorry, I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and they haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. Nah. <laughs> but I think they're just humoring me. She's so precious. I'm sure they appreciate. Maybe. I'd love to put on a show just for them. But. It's boring if I'm the only one playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. Let's go! Everybody jamming to Alfira's song. She's trying to cheer us up. To cheer the kids up. <laughs> <laughs> They're still concerned, poor guys. Okay. So. Go ahead. Sure, why not? Stop with Karak. No! Not you. Oh. You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole. The absolute. How? Oh. I don't know how this plot fits together, but we will stop him. I was his bodyguard. I looked after him with my life. I trusted him more than anything. He gave me away to Zariel just for kicks. He ruined my life just when it was starting. And now he'll use up the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him! She mad. We'll do it together, whatever it takes. He can't get away with what he's done to me, to us. He won't get away with it. You're not alone in this. I can feel it. The engine. It's getting hotter, louder. It's going to blow if we don't find another way to fix it. Uh. Cool. Look who wants to talk. Hello. Wags his tail, a small bag Nobody. clenched between his teeth. Ah, you can keep it. It's fine. Play around with the bag. I have a lot already to take uh, to take with me to carry. I mean, uh, I wasn't seeing the bonfire for some reason. Troops ready. Ready enough. Gods, I can't. We leave the heart of the Absolute alive, thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick, but Ketherick was only the first to fall. 
There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. I already have allies. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Uh, uh, will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, to the absolute, the chosen, all. Okay. I'm trapped. Please. All right. Baldur's Gate is Question. west of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before oh, the absolute's crap. forces. Our luck. Hello. Parasitos. No, she's already in Cranberry again. No. There's parasites around here, though. Take this too. Come on, teamwork. We gotta do this. We gotta do what we what we gotta do. Did you put your nice bright lights? Not why. Can't give up now. Let's go. Can't give up now. So where's the way? <laughs> I have no idea where to go. Okay, this is a way. This is the mark. The map mark that I was talking about before the road to Baldur's gate is up ahead wait I want no to turning back once we start down that road Ooh. Yeah, I want to go to Baldur's. Look at that. Let's go with everyone. And now she summons the fallen lover. And now I summon. Can I summon? Uh... Look at this big ass family right here. <laughs> Let's go! Off to Baldur's Gate! Find a way forward. Listen, the psionic detector. Githyankia lurking nearby. Okay. Githyanki, where are they? The 
Hello? Are they invisible or something? Hello? Jesus. Attack, oh gosh. Ah, uh, this. Okay. I wanted to stop him. Deli troop! Exactly. You are a bigger family here. Smoldering touch. Touchy touchy. Okay. <laughs> this is fun. Go, flamey. Can't even catch my breath. Okay. Oh, nope. Want. Let's target this guy. And now, let's do the thing that you guys already know so well. It's time to dominate the world in an hour. Let's go here. Oh my god. It's the first time our woodland friend is gonna kill someone. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Hello! Good job, buddy. I have infinite, like. Uh, I don't want her to step on the lights, though, so I'm just. I don't want to get too close to the thingies. Let's just go here. No! Don't hit Flamey! What are you doing? Girl! You're crazy! Uh, we also can't forget about the other person that is other geese that is prone. I was forgetting about her. That's why I'm just moving towards now. <gasps> no! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Guys, hit like sucks. This. They have three attacks. Take the artifact for my queen. <laughs> okay, you can no, you can't go anywhere. Dun, 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 dun. Animate dead, crazy and undead servant from a corpse. Can the undead servant fight? In melee combat, or in ranged combat. Yes! Okay, 
now hive. Uh, Karlak, darling, you go in there. To do? Yeah. Because this lady needs to be. Remember that we need to pass. Astorian, you can go. You must be kidding me. Yes, mm. Burn. It doesn't create attack of opportunity. She's fine. Vessel of Mrs. L. Portrait. Space you can see. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, hello. Sometimes the only way out is through. Can I jump up there? Not enough movement. I can't go there. Okay, I guess I'll just. Oh my god. You can do it. I'm trying. What? Is more of a of a meat shield? Ah, the zombie. Well. Why not? Sheesh. Level one slot. Why not? Um, take it. He's snaring. yourself hmm. this is the one that we give damage to okay Missed both of them. Are you kidding me? Mm, we'll get out of there. You're too squishy to be there. I mean, not anymore. Use that big ass fireball on those too. I said oh, it's too late. Water. Let's go. Nice. Let's go, Gustarian. Hmm. 
<laughs> Why the vibe? Let's go. Well, this is also kind of a fire. Oof. Survival is all that matters. Hello! <laughs> Smash with my bum bum. My Albert ass smashing everything. Invalid targets. Oh, it's dead. Oh. How did I miss that? Can someone explain to me? I don't have enough moment, but it's fine. What? What happened? Oh no! Hip Dryad! <laughs> I just killed her by accident! Oh no! Here he comes! He's small but furious. Jump! No, punch! Punch! <laughs> Knocking the back of his head! His main attack, as we would say in Portuguese, is um, called the uh, Calduço. Okay. I'm very badly positioned. Now it's too late. I can do. I can just do this, I guess. Because it can go like. All right, Karnak. It's go time. Count on me. Oh, well, hello. What is that guy doing? Is he hitting himself? Why do I have two zombies? Hand. You can cast mid hand as a bonus action, strain telekinesis. So I will throw a creature object with your mind once per turn. You can use telekinesis again. Okay. Oh my god, this encumbered situation. It's very annoying. And this is medium armor. Only I and Karlak uses medium armor, but I don't think it's worth to replace the one I have. Looks like an army marched through here. It does. You're about to progress your adventure, we'll see move on, you may not be able to return next to choose, let's go! Etheric is defeated, the path ahead clear. You should be elated. 
the sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. Though however deep your pain, it cannot compare to Halson's. Oh. He's sad. Going on an adventure. Yeah. Why does he look like he hasn't showered in a decade, though? Sergeant. If you are here, I presume Worms Rock is secure. And preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord. But there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Uh-oh. Okay. Your plan is falling what the hell? apart. Lordling, give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. <laughs> oh, look at the painter. The expected the prison bearers to kill Catherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be with you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light, little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. My blades will thirst again. She a bit crazy. Just say. Just a bit. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. The gang. Goodbye. People leave. <laughs> Thank you, Oliver. Let's go. I have to keep going. We haven't talked with Lazel since, um, since Shadow Heart threw her tantrum and left. <laughs> Look at the family. Look at them. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, I'm curious if Flavel has anything to to say. I'm listening. Okay, let's ask her about the disc. Once again, your mind opens to Lazel, and she considers the disc. More writings on Orpheus, the so-called Prince of the Comet. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Jastil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his Sword of Silver. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon of Thelamon. Vlacketh's faithful roar out this tale, but beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlacketh's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith. Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. This is more than a fable. It's an affront to the undying Queen Vlacketh. Gith's son died to Voss's blade. Orpheus is no more. Could Orpheus really be alive, do you think? It is not just improbable, it is impossible. Kithrak Voss and his red dragon slayed the fell prince. You could no more resurrect him than you could glue together the pile of ashes he became. My Vash taught that the silver bells of Blacketh's court still ring out before every hunt in celebration of the prince's defeat. As a child, I longed to hear them for myself and sing in praises to the deathless queen and her Kithraki. Okay. Who is the Great Red Dragon? Tiamat's emissary. It was he who carried word that Mother Gith had negotiated the gift of the dragons, and that Vlacketh the First would preside as Queen of the Githyanki. The Thalaman remains the Queen's consort to this day, as endless as the Empire he now serves. Okay. Thank you. Uh, someone over there wants to talk. No? No one? Thought I saw an exclamation mark. Oh no, not Gil again. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Leave me alone. The gate is closed. As is Casador. <laughs> Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperial soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. And elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. We need to stop him yesterday. We will kill him, but there's more to it. Think about it. It sounds like Casador, for all his evils, has gotten further than any of my kind ever have. He's on the verge of a miracle. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. Uh... So you'd like to take the power from him? The water's bound to the ritual? <laughs> What's a handful of the wretched servants? If they're anything like me when I was enslaved, 
They're all but begging for death anyway. After 200 years of shit, pure shit, I think I deserve something better. All that matters to me is that you're safe. I know you do. It matters to me as well. I want to be able to protect you, too. All I'm saying is, let's be clever about it. If an opportunity arises for me to become a more magnificent bastard than I already am, why turn it down? Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Cazador's front door. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. Yeah, I'm with you all the way. My, my, you sweetheart. Then there isn't a moment to waste. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Cazadors change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. Oops. Can conjure ice imps too, etc. What did you want, Gil? I was supposed to sacrifice myself to stop the absolute. Yeah, I don't think I could have gone through with it in truth. And I'm glad that I didn't, given what has come to light. What are you talking about? The elder brain. But more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it netherese magic so pure so complete i doubted what i was feeling at first most netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power the ghost of an echo of a memory that crown was different i can't fathom how such a wonder survived surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with netheril itself but no matter it exists. I must learn more of it. Back up a little. Why is this crown so important all of a sudden? That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Sorceress Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Let's just get to Baldur's Gate first of all, okay? Indeed. The journey awaits. Yeah. One foot in front of the other is tried and true, I find. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, nethery sects are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. And it sounds like those, those vendors... How do you call it? The black tape? Black tape! The solution to all your problems. Hey, baby! Hoot hoot! <laughs> Take a bite. After the door of... Uh, Dies, I will. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the chosen of the dead three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison. 
and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With his help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Uh, so I'm talking to myself now? <laughs> When the moment comes, I'll do what feels right. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Did you come from? James, I can't even sleep in peace. I was already in my pajamas. Gifts uh, coming after the. Oh, wait. Ah! Oh! Wait, I didn't understand this. We need to. Okay. I didn't notice. Oh my god. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, don't mind me, actually. Let's try this. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I was just like ready to to go all the way through the battle. <laughs> that thing's about to blow. I just wanted to sleep and go into Baldur's Gate. Bro. Mommy, mommy, 
Sorry, Brainy. I'm sorry. Hmm. A better position. No holding back. Oh, look at him. Okay, fly. Heating up. Blood comes easy these days. The hammer's gonna fall. Blood. Blood. Okay, hitting like a truck as we enjoy. Go, oh, Brittany! <laughs> I love how they run. Maybe we are two on the edge. Oh, oh there are you kicking my fluffy ass. It's Take not it. over. Come to the skull. Hurry. I can't hold them back alone. Where are you, bro? What happened? What was that? Wait, come to the skull. Okay. It's not over. Bro, I'm what? Bro, I didn't click anything. What the bug was that? How did that even happen? Uh, without myself. <laughs> Watch your back. This is absurd. Ah, okay. Choose destination. Yeah, Rhea. Take two. This is so freaking stupid. Yeah. No one back home will ever believe this. Take your <laughs> Yeah, step off the fire, please. This is so weird. Time to press ahead. Wait, that's Orpheus. He's alive. Oh no. Before you do anything, I am your ally. We are in danger. Oh shit. A mind flayer. The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. Uh, I am the one that's been protecting you. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Help me. He 
was using filters this whole time. Catfishing me. Prove to me that you are who you say. You saved a child from a viper back in the druid's grove. You saved the Asuma Night Song from her soul cage. You let me live last time you were here. Though it brought Black Hint's wrath upon you. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all proof you need. Now, help me. Oh, guys, so votes are on. What should we do? So this guy has been pretending to be sort of good-looking tiefling, tiefling when he is in fact a giant squid. So I need to know what needs to be done. That's not fair, bro. You get fished me, bro. Can I read these thoughts? Let's read this. Oh, it was just showing up that I had plus three. Now I have minus one. Guidance will give guidance. Attempts to be subtle, the mind flares awareness is everywhere. You blunder in its presence like a walk to walk. You must be joking. I am telling you my thoughts directly into your head. But if you insist on taking a look for yourself, be my guest. Nothing in your colorful existence to date could have prepared you for this. Wait, 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 wait. What is he doing to me? No. As the horror subsides, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Githyanki. Happy? Now, join me. Fight! Together, we can okay. turn the tide. Let's go. Okay, anyone close to an edge or so? So, we only have uh, one. Okay, they're beefy as hell. Ah! Oh, shite. Uh oh, this is a. So this one You need to leave like now You cannot leave. Yeah What? So it was a miss? Oh okay, it was. Got it. Put myself in front of hmm. Nothing important is ever easy. Like on trophy, are you there? Wanted to show you. Um, so this is the conjure minor, minor elemental. It's a four level. You spend the four level spell. 
So you can you can conjure mud methods, which are which are like the imps, or the ice methods, the ice imps, or conjure cousin Azer. <laughs> He's not cousin. Can be though, but yeah. There he is. At your service. Yep. No choice but to keep going. And I didn't finish my turn. Well, yeah, search it afterwards. Okay, okay. Oh my god, I'm so huge. That's what she said. Okay. Yeah, let the brain eat. Okay. So, me, 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 mommy. They are too far away from each other. Uh, but I can try to put them together. Oh, to go to a higher place though yeah we'll go behind the lamp Zephyr this is a uh, Buster I'm gonna smash you with my ass. Make a concussion. Miss. Great. Oh my goodness. Come on. How is this even possible? Dominated. Throw him off the cliff. Ah! Oh, no. No. Let's go. Bump. Wait, what? 
Oh no. They're doing martial arts on me. Oh my god, they're so good like that. We're gonna die. We are pretty much gonna die. Hmm. You could die. Bro! Are you freaking kidding me? No! No, I need to smash both of you. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, opportunity. <laughs> yeah, of course. Shite! Okay, Dorothy. They don't have... Okay. Let me knock this guy. You need to go. Ah, oh, shut. I was lucky. I was really lucky right there. This could have gone really bad. Okay, cool. Let's go. I don't want to hit nor myself nor the dwarf, but I'm sorry, Dorothy. I guess you will need to be sacrificed. Okay, good. Okay, you missed. <laughs> Guys can attack like three times. That's insane. Leave me alone. Carlock! Sheeple people. Wait, first we don't have we don't have big potions, we do. Okay. Right. And now I don't know. Mm. Explodes. It explodes, explodes. Yeah, no, no good. Let's do this. Do this. How do I do that quickly? I need to heal too, bro. Mm. Where 
are the others? These are weird. Supposedly there are more Githyankis in combat, so one. I need to hold on. I can do this. Not enough movement, what do you mean? Yes I do, how? Let's go. Look at me like that. <laughs> I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. By the living gods. No more visions, no more lies. I expect answers now. I ask again, who are you? And I'm going to need a name this time. You may call me the Emperor. Not pretentious at all. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. the absolute I was a thrall like any other but I was fortunate I broke free and started a new life in my old city I sustained myself on criminals unglamorous but there are plenty of them rarely missed and they fueled me when I did my work I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stelmay we formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence, though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Cheers. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Mm. So are you going to tell me what this battle was about? We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother left, a usurper took her place. 
Blacketh declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blacketh wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Was it you or Orpheus that Flacketh wanted us to kill once she ordered us inside the prison? Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyankis still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Flacketh was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. So, were you in prison here, too? No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the astral prison. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. Mm. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. Okay. What happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. I'm not saying the moment I'm he is going. free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him, and in so doing, you would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, he feel Orpheus's repulsion, a pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. I'm no illithid and will and never will be. You are already more illithid than you realize. It has improved you. You seek to reverse an inevitable a process of evolution. When I first escaped from the Elder Brain, I too railed against the change. But the longer I have inhabited this form, the more it has grown on me. Even if my original body remained intact after I transformed, I would not return to it. Doing so would only impose limitations. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Uh, I don't like what you're implying. Like it or not, our chances of defeating the Elder Brain are substantially improved if you embrace your latent illithid potential. No. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. <laughs> if you let me, I can evolve you. Devastating beauty, ladies and gentlemen. 
Wait, but if you can evolve me, why can't you stop ceramorphosis altogether? The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you, as I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well, the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, mm -hmm. do you wish to evolve or not? No, I'm like Pikachu. I don't want to Even evolve. As you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. Your mind bristles with illithid potential. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what you want most in the world? I felt that. It's your nature. You cannot fight it. So embrace it. Bro, no. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. <sighs> what is it? A tadpole. Nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane. Cocooned here for Cocoon. millennia. It has become extraordinary. Cocoon. Uh... No, I won't do it. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Ah! No, I don't want to do it. Leave me alone. Bro. No! I don't want to become an octopus. An octopus. No! now but it's too late you already embraced the powers the parasite gave you you leveraged them to manipulate to dominate to survive i don't want to look like the emperor is no longer your own you are well on your way to fulfilling your illithid potential you are ready <laughs> look at will's face evolve. Yearning almost unbearable. You already have to say, do it, do it, do what? No, <laughs> you guys are the worst. No, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your wow, never felt more connected. Girl, your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. No. You are exquisite. No. When your allies see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. Yeah. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. Look at that. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain and bring it under our control. <sighs> Even more powerful. Bro, look at look at me. Look at how a story is looking. <laughs> oh my god, I look like I'm ready to go on a death metal band. Oh no. Wait, he needs to level up. Ew. <laughs> Don't you at me. I don't deserve this. <sighs> I did not give consent for this shit. Still alive, so that's progress. Yeah, very much alive. Look at that. Astorian, oh, we need Too to much. We need to break up. This is not going to work. Forward. We need to go to Withers too. Bye Orpheus. What's going on here? Oh, okay. Like, 
No one is here. Oh, yo, yo, Eliza wants to talk. I don't like that. Okay. So, now I should be able to find him. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Um, I need to resurrect then someone. Thou must return with the proper payment. Yeah. This is the price of bad. Well, I do. There she is. I'm curious if Astorian is gonna say anything about my my beautiful me new makeup. So, we owe our lack of tentacles to one of the very creatures that kidnapped us. Uh, at least my lack of tentacles. I'm not sure what's next for you. Yeah. <laughs> He's mocking me. I want to discuss the astral touch tap. Don't look at me like that. I know what you're going to say. The answer is no. No. I was going to, to ask you to use it. Good. I wouldn't have anyway. <laughs> I had nothing for so long. Nothing. Not even my own body. I will not give it up. Now it's mine again. Go off, King. Your body, your rules. Um... So, Lazel wants to make some calamari with me. Maybe. Your parasite communes with Lazel's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Voss would set free. It is Orpheus. The blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. The blood of the mother? Who is he exactly? Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our Gith slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. 157. That's a lot of Vlakids. <laughs> yes. Our current Queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. It was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith One. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. 
Yet the Prince of the Comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakit's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. Um... Then Voss was right. Orpheus is the seed of Vlakit's demise. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our Geich slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Hmm. Okay. So, finally now, of Baldur's Gate, maybe? We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their nether stones. Mm. Okay. Can't slow down. Let's go. Oh. Might be useful. Yes, please give boots and potions. Yeah, no, why am I picking up? Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me, I can't find my mum. Where did you last see her? She was, um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Oh, well. Let's go find a guard. They'll be able to help you. Guards blow like petards. They don't help us. Okay, uh... Conjure some berries and herbs for the hungry kid. Let's go. Astorian is approving us oh, wow, to help a kid. Mum loved food like this. Simple is best, she always said. Alum, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. She has a cute kitty. Okay. Oh, some commotion. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. Um, you certainly know how to make people feel welcome. You shouldn't have to make people feel welcome in places they don't belong. I 
just my to remove my these thing. unlawful interlopers from my property. It's all ruined. Look at that. This home already steals so much land from nature. Surely you can share it. My point exactly. They're like kobolds. You let one in and soon the place will be crawling with them. Ye gods, this guy is begging to get smacked. This man's indignant demeanor barely masks a seething anxiety. There's more to this situation than he's letting on. I'm a very magnanimous individual, oh. but this is my home! Either they leave, or I'll make them! Mm. You seem to be a little on edge. Are you alright? But wouldn't you be on edge if your beautiful home had been defiled by such brazen interlopers? How about you leave and let leave, and I let you leave in return? Ah! We'll give blessing. For fuck's sake. Are you threatening me? Threatening me? Why are you just standing there? Do what I'm paying you for! You paid us to protect you and your high-quality merchandise on the road. And we've since arrived at our destination. As I said, anything else is extra. Ugh. This is the last time I hire someone from the guild. Fine. Here's the extra. Finish the job. Uh, please show this meddler some of that famous Rivington hospitality. Okay. Well, this started very well in Baldur's Gate. So, one, one, ta ta ta, pa pa pa. We are against four. And this. Let's get rid of those two. <laughs> okay. Two we'll, steps at a time. Will, you are a caster. You go back a little bit. Not cool, not cool. Bum. Bum. Ouch. Okay. Oh no, poor cow. Why is there a cow on the way? Come on. Nine more. Good. What is he doing? Frightened. Can I move? No, I can't. Okay. 
Uh, will you? Will. Will you will. This? Mm. Good call. Just turn this off. Bardic inspiration. Should have a Bum. Okay, it's missing one. Oh, that one is not dead yet. Look at that. Say bye bye. I need to take care, take care of that. Okay. Done. Look at that. Carrying rotten food, just drop that, please, once and for all. Okay. So, what do you have to say for yourself now? You see, those animals are out of the picture. Can we stay now? Or are you going to turn us next? Jesus. I'm trying to help you. I just need to talk to the man in charge. Make it quick if you can. I don't like the way he's looking at us. Listen here. All right. You won. You won. What more do you want from me? I want the family to stay. You have room for them, surely. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> that was close enough. But I should have, um... Well, with Zenobia and the others gone, I don't suppose you'll take no for an answer. All right, they can stay. Are you happy now? Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Poor thing. I'm sure men of your means can find room at an inn somewhere. A room can wait. After what you put me through, I need a drink. <laughs> if you need a drink now, then your problem is not that serious. Okay.
not encumbered again, please. No. Wait. Carlock, you can carry this, by the way. I don't know where to go now. There's so much to explore. It's upwards. Investigate Sharon's Karras. Sharon's Karras. Okay. Sharon's Karras. What the hell is Sharon's Karras? I wonder. Hello. This is tough. Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? Mm, how will I will know my perfect weapon? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? Okay. Uh, it depends on who I'm killing, how much they've pissed me off. <laughs> Good answer. Killing is so much more satisfying when you really mean it. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? Um... I feel at peace. Life, death, they're a part of nature's cycle. Killing holds no fear for you, does it? <laughs> you understand what it takes and what it gives. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? I would never kill someone I cared about. You'll do so much worse by the time I'm done with you. Huh? The fuck? Oh! So, you're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's thrall. <laughs> Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. He'll find your weaknesses, stick a knife in the cracks and prize you apart. Unless you get him first. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. Orin's a shapeshifter. Bro. That complicates things. I just arrived. I fought a group of people. Now I, I thought I was talking. You! Try attacking me when we back it and turn you. It wasn't <laughs> You were attacked by a doppelganger. She was impersonating me. Is that so? Yeah. You've got some evil twin running around whacking people round the back of the head. <laughs> I'll tell you now. You'll be seeing bloody double while I'm done with you. <laughs> Please, we need to get out of this. No, I know it's hard to believe, but you really were attacked by a doppelganger, okay? Head bonus, yes. Will, take the will. Thank God. Well, I... I 
I'm sure it were you. The more was certain. Ah, God's be damned, I don't know. I'd have sworn, but my head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. What have I done? I've done nothing wrong. There's a vendor. Oh. Hi. Welcome to the Rivington General. Uh, browse carefully. The. Hi. Or want a blade? Or a bow? Or a dagger? Or maybe a spear is more your thing? You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What do you say? Huh? Why so specifically a spear? Okay. Go check the outside world. This is a church. It looks like a open hand temple but did i miss something it shows up like the map here i guess there's something there's like a camp Necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. A circus! Can we go? <laughs> oh my god! She's so cute! I've never heard of an, an extra planner circus. We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all, blessed to see us. From tempestuous Ginny to belligerent red caps, you'll find them all here. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so. Uh, Come inside and forget your worries. All right, I'd like to enter Not the a circus. Problem, dear Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <laughs> ah! Brain juice smells like piss and iron. No like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. What? What? I'm not a threat to you or anyone, anyone else in the circus, I swear it. Sucker for big eyes and a heartfelt plea. Very well. Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun. And be sure to catch. He the loves star my big eyes. Dribbles the clown. Well, I'm not a fan of clowns, except for Pennywise, because I think he's the most honest, honest clown. Oh wow, you're in the circus. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let's try to, to read her movements. 11. Oh my god, these rolls are so low. She is mining, putting on face paints. She has them to sell. I would like to see her face paint. Mm. Oh, gorgeous maroon dye. <gasps> Face painting kit, this guy's kit. Mm. I actually want these two dyes. I like. Thank you. Thank you. Approach, ugly one. You use the larva. Do you intend to convince your allies to use it too? Not really. I was forced to use it. In a sense, because um, I only had like an option to make a roll where I would resist the urge to take the the lava, the larva. Sorry, a wisdom roll, and I failed. I tried. I tried like three times, and I failed all of them. So basically, just like came inside of me, just like that. And I don't want to to transform any further, nor con nor convince my allies. No. Approach ugly on the hells did you just call me? Ugly, hideous, vile. You are fortunate to have found me, freakish one. Behold, Akabi's wheel of wonders. Spin to win prizes beyond your tiny imagination and make your miserable life more bearable. What kind of things can I win? Akavi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. What is a jackpot? No more questions. Spin or don't. I like to spin the wheel. Let us see if you have luck's favor. No. Alas, no jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. Can I spin again? Yes! Drown me in coin! Yes! You shall win the ultimate prize! Oh. Alas! No jackpot for you! How much is this costing, though? But you may have this. Well, thanks, I guess. You are welcome, putrid one. Return again to try and you. Why is he so mean? Ugly one, putrid one, like, sorry if I exist. It's a dragon. This city of storm. Is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here until now. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? I do love someone, someone close to me, actually. 
You were wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword, and trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal. Should I trust this? Or doomed eternally. Astarian, are you up for this? Oh, my love. How could I Aww. say no? <laughs> Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. joyous when is he happiest um. oh okay I need help on this I mean, he's not exactly happy. I don't think he... Yeah. He likes gore, definitely. He likes some bloodshed here and there. But I don't think it's when he's happiest. Excuse me. <laughs> I've been happy. Thank you very much. <laughs> right now, but whose fault is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All affections face their trials. Your bond quivers, but it does not yet break. Many things delight the heart, but only one makes it sing. Tell me, what does he desire more than anything? A druid failing wisdom rolls to be reaped. Yes. Yes, it was indeed. Now we'll see how much you truly love him. <laughs> I'm the worst in these things. They like their heart, but I'm like, tell me, what does he desire more than anything? A nice, tasty rat. <laughs> yeah. No pun intended. Freedom. I think it's freedom. You're not wrong, but do we need to tell every stranger we meet our business? So I was supposed to lie? The sweetest loves dance lightly on the tongue. But now we must dig deeper. Into the most painful reaches of the spirit. Fear sits in the soul of all. To tame it, we must name it. Astarian. What is his deepest fear? Breaking a nail. <laughs> oh, uh, now I'm not sure if I should tell the truth or not. He's going to disapprove, but you know, fuck it. Forever feeling like a slave to someone else. Really? I mean, I mean, yes, but but really, you just tell whatever stranger just walks up and asks. There is no need for secrecy. <laughs> You wear your truth so close to the skin. <laughs> I have to say, you know me better than I thought. I'll have to be more 
mysterious in future. I mean, we are together, what do you mean? Your bond is false, and I know why. Because your heart belongs to another. Close your eyes, and she will show herself. Wait, what? What is happening? Oh, for Christ's sake, woman. Are you everywhere? Still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. If you have the Bone Lord's stone, do not let him hiss hot air into your world weakened brain. <laughs> oh, your bond will not save you. He will wrap its cord around your neck and make you swim from it. Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have here? Enjoying the show? Then you're going to love Dribbles. He's about to perform on stage. Ooh. Not now. Oh, sorry. You are absolutely right. I think that the seller that I was, um, the Dragonborn seller previously, I think she has one exactly uh, like uh, like the one I have for him. I think it's this, uh, yeah, I think she has just one just, uh, just like this, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw it. So I think you can buy it there too, maybe. dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is pausable. Way! <laughs> well. <clears throat> Between you and me, I love a good clown. And Dribbles is the best <laughs> He's like a kid. <laughs> who lost a fight. Um. Simply what? He got the stuff in, kicked out of him. Way! Oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but. I have to go. Oh. oh well, if you insist. <gasps> How about a magic trick? But first, I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart of a lion. Who will it be? Who? The hair on the back of your neck raises. As a shiver passes hmm. through you, my special assistant, come on up. No, go on, Carl. I can you go. <laughs> I think this is a job for the Blade of Frontiers, don't you, Will? <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> oh, my heart. The enthusiasm is too much! <laughs> now, up, up! Level sharp! Up. 
poor buddy will think you don't like him. Right there! Oh, perfect! Go on, Will. Well, if you insist. <laughs> There should be a way to see... Yeah, I thought about that too. Now, you're very special. As special as can be. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend. Because I have a message just for you. Praise the absolute. Holy shit. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Monk is special. Mato, no. Get away from there, buddy. So, how many spell slots do I have? I just have one warlock, but I guess I'll get. Yeah. Well, this is Dribbles the Clown. See? See why I don't like clowns? They're not trusted. Oh, she did. Yeah. She did and farted. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Dinosaur, nor the kitty. This is between you and me. It is time. It is time to smash everyone with my ass. Not yet because I don't have the action now, but I will next turn. Oh, I will. Ah, I can target? Hello? Yeah. Bump. They're all doppelgangers. Ass cheek booty smash. Yes. That's what my old bear does. Too heavy to throw. Even for Carlock. There we go. Another one. Smack. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Wait, I have one more action. I did? Uh, I think I, I did. Okay. Shall not be hasty next turn. But yeah. Um, I 
I don't want to hit people. <laughs> there you go. And now you dribbles, you go to take a nap. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. There's blood in the air. There is. Never escape. Good. This is gonna feel good. Oh, kitty. No, this is not gonna feel good. I don't like to kill the kitty. I'm sorry. Shadow Whiskers. Ah, shite. Mm. So, where now? Wee! Bum! And yay! Let's go. A shapeshifter. What a nice welcoming to the circus, I, I would say. <laughs> oh my god, this was fun. This was very, very fun.